Hey guys, welcome to the channel and welcome back to another video. Now, originally I planned on this video being sort of an explanation on if you should use AMS, Ace Pro, any multi-filament system, how much it would cost, if it would be worth it to use it for a business and creating multi-film prints, how long it takes and stuff like that. And I was just gonna go over what it takes to print something off in eight colors, especially when you're changing layer lines, all that stuff, blah, blah, blah. But then Snapmaker and Bamboo and Prusa have all made these different multi-tool head printers and are completely changing the game of 3D printing and almost making like the AMS and the Ace Pro obsolete technology for 3D printing. So in today's video, we're going to be answering what is the difference between multi-filament or multi-color 3D printing and multi tool head 3d printing and also answering the question as to whether or not these new multi-tool head 3d printers are making the multi-filament systems obsolete so that was seeing more time let's jump into the video so like i said before the original plan was going to be going over what it takes to make a multi-filament print and how long it would take to print off something that is in eight different colors and how much filament would you waste and all that. So I printed off this little squirtle and it came off really, really good. I printed this on my Anycubic Cobra S1 combo and it is actually only seven colors, not eight, but I used two Ace Pros to get this 3D print and it came out really, really good. It's actually like phenomenal, but it wasted a ton of filament. So real quick, I just wanted to show you guys how much filament waste and time went into making this squirtle model. And here is the pile in its entirety. Right here you will see this is the prime tower that is used to make sure that there's no drooping whenever it goes to print. And here is how much filament it wasted. And you can really get an idea about how much time and filament these systems waste. Especially considering every time it does spit out a little bit of poop. It can take anywhere from 30 seconds to about 2 minutes. So all of these times 30 seconds to two minutes is a lot of time. And I wanted to use this model specifically because you're changing the color so often on the same layer, sometimes up to five times a layer. It's just a really good test to see how much filament these things could waste when you're trying to make something as simple as this. Now I know that you can print off a whole build plate of this and use it for your business, but I was doing this test from a consumer perspective, so I wanted to see how much it would waste. And to give you guys an even better idea, I went ahead and weighed the filaments. So that way you guys could see how much it would waste. And the total came out to about 333 grams, which is about a third of a roll of filament just for one simple multicolor print. So now that you have an idea of how much filament these things are wasting, you can very clearly tell why a lot of people need a change for this sort of system and why these sort of systems can sort of cause issues with your 3D printer. Multi-tool head printing is instead of it changing out the filament and it has to spit out the old filament and run the new filament through and extrude it until the old color is off and then do a little prime tower and all that, these printers will literally just print in one color and then bring it to the back of the machine, drop that tool head off and pick up a new nozzle with a different color and use that one to start printing. The only filament waste that there will be will be from the prime tower and that's just so that way there's no stringing or drooping filaments from it sitting afterwards. That way it's just a clean nozzle whenever it goes to start printing off its layer. And it's very clear to see why this would be a game changer for 3D printing. Not only will this save space, time, filament, and money, you'll also be saving an extra outlet plug because the Ace Pros with Anycubic need their own power cord connected to the wall for them to work. You'll save a lot of space from those massive AMS enclosures closures. Instead, you'll be able to just hook the rolls of filament onto the machine itself and all around just get a lot better prints. Another huge issue that there is with the multi-filament systems and a reason that people have to waste so much filament whenever they're doing these prints is because the color has to be fully extruded. And especially if you're only printing off one object at a time with different colors on the same layer, you have to spit out a lot of filament to make sure that the entirety of the previous color is wiped out of the nozzle. Another huge positive about this is that after the new year and once 3D printing companies start coming out with more and more multi-tool head printers, the technology seems like it would be more simple than having a completely separate unit and it would probably almost be cheaper for them to do multi-tool head printing than multi-filament systems having connected to the 3D printer. The number one company that I can already see is starting to work backwards is Elegoo. Now mind you, I love Elegoo. I have the Elegoo 3 Pro, the 4 Max, the Centuri Carbon. I use the Mars 5 Ultra. I love Elegoo but they seem to be going backwards in terms of multi-filament and multi-color 3D printing. After the cancellation of their multi-filament system for the Centuri Carbon, I would almost think that they just kind of focus on completely redesigning the Centuri Carbon 2 to be a multi-tool head 3D printer and just raising the price for it. I think them creating their own 
version of the AMS system for the Centauri Carbon 2. It's just a huge step backwards for them, especially considering most companies are starting to get away from that idea. I just think they should definitely pay attention to what the other companies are doing in terms of multicolor 3D printing. But like I said, this is definitely going to be the future. There's a lot of really cool 3D printing inventions and new ideas that were showcased at Form Next. It's pretty exciting to see all the different technology that companies are trying to make for 3D printing. So let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comments. Let me know what you think about multi-tool head printing and whether or not you think that AMSs and the multi-filament systems should be obsolete technology and whether a company should be focusing more on multi-tool head 3D printers. I read every single comment and try to reply to all of them. So definitely let me know what you guys think. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel for more 3D printing content. And I will see you all in the next video.